my dear friends what we have to do the will of god in our life we going to listen more about this one later today as we going to start our uh, uh, praise and worship first my dear friends we are gathered from different parts of the world just to, to worship our lord this half an hour so join with ashlyn who is, who is uh, joining with us from ireland so we going to worship our lord amen So we're just going to contemplate all the angels bowing before the throne of God. Amen. Angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are. Angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are.
If you have the gift of tongues, use it now. Feel the presence of Jesus in your life. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. My dear friends, close your eyes. Feel the presence of Christ in your room. Somebody who are attending from the remote place, the first time in their life, during this worship time, they feel the presence of Christ in that room. They feel the presence of Jesus in their room, in their house. My dear friends, please worship. It's not even worshiping our Lord. One family is too much worried about the alcoholism in their family. Lord is delivering that family, that family member who is addicted to alcohol. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. One family is too much worried about three accidents recently happening happened in their family. They are so much worried about the three accidents. Jesus is giving them the protection from the future. And also giving the healings in their life. Let us keep on singing along with Ashlyn. And thank you, Jesus. Heal them, Lord. Deliver the families, Lord. From the bondages in their life. The burdens in their life. Deliver your people, Lord. Deliver your people. Deliver your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. come in a deep silence with Christ. Keep on praise our Lord in from your heart. From your heart, keep on praise Him. We are one with Christ when we are doing the worshiping. 
experience the presence of Jesus in your life. And my friends, each and every moment of worship and praises, we are experiencing the presence of Lord in our life. So it is silent worship. Jesus name amen 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 praise the lord thank you jesus praise you jesus my dear friends the aim of this one of the aim of this uh, program is actually sharing the word of god and praising a worshiping uh, uh, praise of praise and worship with my this should reach every corner of the life like for example somebody may be sick in the house or maybe in the hospital they may not be able to come forward for any any programs happening locally so they could reach it on their mobile or or uh, on their computer so it's your job and my job to share the link with your friends and families who are in need or desperately in some other parts of the world or somewhere Uh, in the loneliness or in the sickness or you we don't know how they are going through this time so when you are doing that you are a missionary for them so i encourage you to do this amen amen so my dear friends now we going to entering into the word of god session and after that at the end of the session again we will come back for a short healing prayer today's word of god i took it from john chapter 6 here someone is asking lord what must we do to perform the works of god we all want to do the will of god in our life or the work of god that god has been assigned for us we have to do that isn't it we always but the answer from jesus is so simple this is the work of god this is the work of god that has to fulfill through you and me that you believe in him who who he has sent so this was their problem this was their problem to understand the teachings of christ they know jesus but they know jesus as the son of a carpenter they know jesus but they know jesus only as a prophet they know jesus they know jesus is a good leader they know jesus they know jesus as a good friend but they cannot accept jesus as their own lord and savior they should accept jesus as their lord and savior they should welcome him into their life and believe in him this is the work of god to fulfill the work of god or the beginning of the work of god is accepting jesus into the life or the one who has been sent it to you or the promise that god has been given to you accept it and you ready i am getting ready for it and i am believing it lord i am getting ready for it and i am here to perform and fulfill the will of god in my life so we could see that the the, the people the, in john chapter 6 the people whom he was speaking were not been that much understanding they scattered when he spoke about the body and blood so they were born in different angle they came from different side they saw the miracles they saw the multi the multiplication of bread and there so many wonders healings and they listened to the preaching but when they hear about the breaking of the body and blood they were ah oh, they could not understand they scattered so they believe in they could not believe in him or accept him as he is but let us see what's how the virgin mary mary reacted when she heard the word of god in luke chapter 1 we could see that she said i don't know the man how is it be possible in my life i don't know anything but she said here i am the handmaid of the lord even if i don't understand anything even if i don't really i can't f- foresee anything i don't know why god called me into this special spiritual life as a priest as a nun as a lay minister or in this family or in this family life or in this uh, teaching life or maybe in the preaching life or in the missionary life why i could not see anything i can see only what i can do it today 
okay, my cooking and my ironing and my stuffs for tomorrow, only these I could see. I cannot see anything. This is what the problem that Virgin Mary said. But she said one more thing. Here I am the handmaid of the Lord, bid and according to thy word. Then the things changed in her life. So after this, when she approached Saint Elizabeth, her um, auntie or her uh, cousin Elizabeth was saying like this, she was saying, blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by Lord. My dear friends, from this we should understand the will of God fulfilled in uh, Mary's life when she believed God's angel or what has been spoken to her. My dear friends, we need to believe the good news, the word of God that we are receiving. That is actually preaching to you and me. And that is the person Jesus Christ. So when you are receiving Jesus Christ into your life, means you are receiving the word of God and let it to work, work within you. Here in Acts of Apostles, we could see this. In Acts 2.37, Paul was, sorry, Peter was explaining everything. These, these things, these, these things, you did it to Jesus and Jesus is the Messiah. He was proving that Jesus is the son of God. He is the son of man. He is the Messiah. He was proving it. And the audience were reacted in a different way. They said, now when they heard this, they were cut of their heart, cut to their heart, the heart and said to Peter, to the other apostles, brothers, what we should do, what should we do? So this is the reaction. So which means they believe in whom he has sent, God has been sent, or what comes out from the mouth of Peter, they believed. So that is the one who came, so that is the word of God, Jesus Christ came in. So my dear friends, on hearing this word of God, you and me should be said to Lord, Lord, what shall I do? What step I have to do? Or say, here I am the handmaid of the Lord. Then the work of God will fulfill through you and me. My dear friends, not be rebellious to the word of God or not be a person of postponing, not be a person of cut short, not be a person of hiding, not be a person of running away from the call. But instead of that, even if I don't understand, even if it is not fully digestible for my uh, thoughts, and even if I don't understand, here I am the handmaid of the Lord or say, what shall I do? Do I have to go for a confession right now? If it is feeling like a sin, something has been, when, when the, some, sometimes when we hear the word of God, we feel that, oh, I should go for a confession. I should be sorry. I should ask sorry to my brother, sister, uncle, auntie, husband, wife. Sometimes, the, so here actually what we need is cut to the heart. So, if we are not doing, if we are not being done the cut to the heart on listening the word of God, then we will think for an excuse or rebelliousness or trying to find a new way to escape in between there. So a person who is cut to heart will say here, what should I do? A person who has humility say, even if I don't understand, I, here I am the handmaid of the Lord. So then only the fulfillment of the will of God will happen in our life. Here in Exodus 32, words 15 to 19, we could say Moses was coming down from the Mount Sinai. Here the word, the, 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 the commandments written by God has been in the hands of, the word of God is in the hands of uh, Moses. And when Moses was coming down, the people were enjoying, people were not being ready, not being, so they were filled in their sins. They don't want to hear anything. They wanted, they were not ready to wait for the, the, the prophet to come in front of them. They wanted to, to do their own desire of the flesh. So what happened is in their life is actually ended up in a, in a horrible situation. My dear friends, and uh, when Moses was, you can see this on the screen, you can read it later. So when Moses was stand up from the Mount Sinai 
to the down, he was not very happy because of all these things happened down. Just because that they were not waited for the prophet, the whom God has been appointed to speak to them. They're coming with the real Bible, the Ten Commandments, the word of God in the hands of Moses, but they were doing what is against the commandments. And their heart was filled with or attracted by the world and they were looking for something to worship and they were ignoring the God who brought them back from Egypt uh, to there. So this is actually happening sometimes. We are not ready to, we are not ready to wait for, we are not ready to go there, we are not ready to play, we are not ready to listen the word of God. And we are not ready to, we are so rushed, so we are clicking on the buttons after buttons to escape rather than listening the word of God, which is leading us to cut heart or which is inspiring us to say, I'm sorry, or inspiring or, in, or, or telling us to say or building us in such a way. My dear friends, let us should not be a person of rebelliousness in this time that God has been uh, uh, calling us. Again, in John, uh, Jesus is continuing that word of God to them. So they said to him, what sign are you going to give on us? Some people are like this. Even if they hear from the mouth of Jesus, even if they had the really from the God and their God is specially speaking to them through their own healings and miracles, through their own wonders in their life, through this lot of things happened in their life. But still they will ask, what sign are you going to give on us? And Jesus was, you know, Jesus, Jesus could heal them or deliver them, multiply them, everything he has been done. But again, they are asking, what sign are you going to show me? Show me what sign you're going to do this for uh, to believe that we, uh, you, are, uh, uh, you are within us or you are the son of God. And uh, Jesus was not doing any sign there, but he was breaking a, a word of God through and uh, he was pointing towards the breaking of bread. Then Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I tell you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven, but it is my father who in heaven did it. And the bread of God, that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world, it's my body, he said. This they could not understand. My dear friends, how do we know the will of God? We have to know the will of God through his church who is venerating his body and blood. The preaching of the gospel in the church and in the breaking of the uh, the the bread, we are understanding the depth and the deepness of the will of God. And to know, to believe, to believe in him, to believe in the Eucharist and in the word of God is that the work of God will fulfill within us. So my dear friends, these days I encourage you to take some time to open your Bible and to read or sit before the blessed sacrament and reflect on what the word of God is speaking to you and me. My dear friends, we are actually called to holy, called to be holy and to grow in holiness. Here, the, 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 the Jews and the disciples everywhere are gathered and the rest of them has been gone when he said this word of God. And Jesus turned to the tall one and asked, why don't you go? Then they were replied, oh, we are not going because there are the life-giving spirit or the words you are speaking is the life and spirit that is in you and we where we have to go. My dear friends, there is no other way to run away from this. Uh, there, there is no other way. We should not be run away from the light of the word of God. Instead of that, open it, open it and read it. That's the time Lord will speak to you personally and God will perform the miracles and wonders, especially in the, in the, in the area of conversion in your life. My dear friends, instead of asking signs and wonders, instead of asking miracles a lot again and again from Lord, let us ask Lord, Lord, here I am the handmaid. Or, or cut, to your, cut, cut to the heart and say, I'm really sorry for my sins. I'm going for a good confession. Help me, Lord. Let us close our eyes and I'm going to pray for your prayer request. 
in this time you can type your prayer request in the chat box and the rest or the comment box the rest of the week uh, the team will pray for it and Ashlyn is going to sing a chorus over all these prayer requests that you are typed now and God is healing a person with an uh, with a problem for ear in Jesus name we are praying for all these prayer requests and the person who has ear problem be healed in the name of Jesus Touch them and heal them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Please listen to this chorus now. Holy Spirit, fall like rain. Holy Spirit, fall like rain. Holy Spirit, have glory. Let your glory fall down. Let your glory fall down. According to the will of God, we pray for all these prayer requests, Lord. In Let you glory fall down. Let you glory fall Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mother Mary, please intercede for all of us, especially those who are typed their prayer request. Some of them are keeping their prayer request in their heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are they amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So thank you very much. Uh, have a good night or good morning, wherever you are. Uh, please share the link with your friends and families. We will see you on next Sunday, the same place, the same time. Bye-bye. Thank you.